Okay, so pulling over the magneto only is giving about 150 volts. This is at 5 volts per division, or ooh, could that be 5 divisions or is that 1 division? That's a good question. Ah, look at this. I got the trigger working. And now this is just with the ground onto the case and the probe, a 10 time probe, hooked into here. So this thing like this is 4.6 divisions. So it is the big lines and not the small lines. The small lines are the decimal points or the fractions of the divisions. That makes sense. Just wanting to make sure I'm doing this right and understanding it. So we're almost going to need to 200 volts there. It's nowhere near as much as we want. Now I do wish I'd gotten that storage scope. Now I'm using a different probe. It's not changing it at all, so I know it's not the probe now. I think it's fair to say that any problems are with either the capacitor or something in the magneto. All right, so I disconnected the old condenser capacitor, and I connected the new one. We can see if there's a problem with the old condenser capacitor. Condenser and capacitor are the same thing, so I'm not sure which word to use, but I guess in this instance condenser is better because that's like the automotive term. I don't know. to see that so it's not actually dipping down as much as I would want so that's odd so I'm gonna order one of these it's a RE Fallon FG2176 condenser capacitor thing and this one's pretty old from the 1950s so no doubt this one's dead it's been a month and a half since the last clip, and I have no idea what the hell is going on. Now, with the new capacitor, whenever I crank it over, nothing happens. Nothing whatsoever. You would think you get a fucking signal on here. What's the need to have it on before? I can't remember. There we go. Okay. Okay, you're getting a little bit of a spike there. Okay, so... Hmm. So I just checked and I do not get a spark when I put it on the spark plug, so that's a bit of a shame. Oh well. You know, let's just try something crazy. Some people keep recommending just to take the capacitor off. I don't think that would work, but we can try. Oh, I'm not picking it up. Surely you think there'd be something. There's just so much, like, I guess it's a 60 hertz hum in there, but it's weird that it's 2 volts. Actually, you know why? This is through a 10 time amplifier, so that goes down to... So it's 20 volts there. Surely there's not 20 volts of 60 hertz going across there. That, that doesn't make any sense. Let's try one last ditch effort. Hook the capacitor back on, and I flip the wires just in case for some reason I got them wrong. 
I, I don't understand how two can have all that noise, but then five has nothing. That makes no sense. So weird. So it could be an instrumentation issue. I don't know. Either way, whatever that, like, six, I guess it's 60 hertz. Whatever that is, it can't overpower that, so... Yeah, that's just a waste of my time. So I have officially lost interest in this piece of crap. So since I have no idea what the fuck is going on here, and nobody else can seem to really figure out what the hell is going on either, I'm going to put this on the shelf, unless I can find a coil that works, unless I can find a magneto on eBay or whatever that works, Unless I can find a solid state solution, for instance, having a little battery in a coil, or unless I can find an electric motor that I can put in here, because to be honest, I don't need it to be gasoline. I can just have it electric and that'll be just as good. So unless one of those four things happens, I'm not going to be doing anything with this because it's just, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any fucking sense. I would like to hear what you guys think about this and what the problem is, but I just, Maybe I'm not smart enough. I don't know, but I just, I, I have no one, I, I don't understand this. I, it, it doesn't make sense. This shouldn't be happening like this. Maybe it's an instrumentation issue. Maybe it's actually an issue with this. Maybe it's both. Either way, I can't get a fucking spark. I never have gotten a spark in this thing with either magneto. I probably ruined this magneto and I'm just, I'm sick of it. I'm just sick and tired of this stupid chainsaw. Because they, they don't even make that stuff anymore. They don't make these magnetos anymore. And I can't even... Last one I found, I tried buying. And the person never even sold, uh, sent it to me. So, I... Ah. Such a pain in the butt. I've been calling around to different people who happen to have a large collection of, like, lawn equipment like that. And none of them have even, like, ever even heard... Like, some of them haven't even heard of this brand of chainsaw, which is weird. Oh, well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It might be the last video in this series. And thank you very much for watching. See ya.